Hey guys and welcome. This is just a quick video preview of the combat medical system. Um, we won't go into too many specifics in this video about how to use the model set it up as we will have other videos at a later stage on how to do so. Now I will stress this is in a very early alpha at this stage. Many things are still being developed and worked on. Uh, the combat medical system is not currently available to the public. It's currently in a closed testing phase, although we hope um, to be able to get a publicly available test version out soon. Now, we're just going to have a quick look at the GUI uh, and show, demonstrate a little bit of bandaging. So we'll open up the GUI here. Now, the combat medical system is based off the Tactical Combat Casualty Care, or TCCC, guidelines, which many military forces around the world use for patient management. So on your GUI here, up the top, you've got the person's name, or in this case you're examining yourself. On the top left here you've got the examine and treatment, which lists everything you can do or look at. The centre here you've got the overview window, so you can get a quick summary of the damaged areas on the body. On the right hand side here you get to see all the wounds of that particular part of the body. At the top, you'll see what part selected. Down the center here, you've got the triage card. And on the bottom, the activity log, which lists a history of everything that's been done to that patient. So having a quick flip through the various different examine items, you've got uh, the examine patient. So you do things like pulse, blood pressure, and so on. Uh, I will just refer, re rephrase here. A few things are actually still missing at this time, they will be added later on. In here you've got all your bandage and fracture management, dressings, tourniquets, so on. You've got your medications, airway management, advanced treatments such as IVs, the ability to drag or carry people, and you can toggle between yourself and the other person if you're viewing somebody else's medical card. Now, depending on what level of realism you choose for the combat medical system, things such as the drugs and advanced airway treatments or whatnot may be limited to certain classes, such as uh, particular medical classes and so on, and we will have custom items for these, so you can't give blood IV without having the blood bag. So we'll just demonstrate here uh, with this unfortunate victim. One fucking ceasefire! So we'll open up his medical window, and as you can see, the legs here are highlighted red because there's some wounds on them. Now, the darker red it is, the more damage or more wounds there are. So as you can see, there is one large open wound. Now, we'll just apply a couple of bandages until we get rid of that. And while I'm doing this, you can see down the bottom left, the activities that I'm doing on that person are appearing. Now, as you can see, we've bandaged up the wound properly, so the wounds disappeared from the overview, and the legs have gone back to white. We can do things such as checking pulse and blood pressure, and a few other options later on. Uh, the system behind this is being rewritten as we speak, though. So as you can see, up the top right, you find a normal heart rate. So anyway, uh, we still have a lot to do on this mod. Um, we do hope to have a publicly available test version available as soon as possible, uh, but we do need to get a few more things completed first. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick video, and we'll see you around. You can view our website at www.csemod.com for more information.